Mr. Chris Lyon is the editor-in-chief of Heliopolis Magazine. Hey, Mr. Chris, welcome to Keel. How are you today? Very good. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tonight kicks off what will be an interminably long election season, I fear. But you guys, Heliopolis and some others, are putting together the first mayoral forum. Tell us about that. Sure. So tonight uh, at the Agora Borealis, starting at 5.30 p.m., we're going to have a, uh, like you said, the first mayoral forum. Uh, 5.30 p.m. is going to be the reception. 6 p.m. is when the event's actually going to kick off. Uh, Seating is limited. We only have just over 100 seats in the venue, but we're going to be streaming it live on uh, the Heliopolis Facebook page. So, Chris, who's, who, which, which candidates are you expecting there? So tonight we're expecting, uh, it's, I think it's in alphabetical order here, Stephen Jackson, uh, Adrian Perkins, Lee Savage, uh, Mayor Tyler, and John Paul Young. Okay. You, you invited all the candidates, all ten? It's tough to do them all, I know. What we did is uh, we invited the six that had Facebook pages that had over 500 likes uh, on their Facebook page. We obviously had some people that joined it last minute. Uh, so Talia Farrow was invited, but he had a prior engagement, so we won't be able to join tonight. So okay. what's the fo- what's the format for the evening? Do you expect uh, are fireworks possible? It's possible. You know what we've been doing over the last uh, month or so is soliciting questions through our Facebook page and through our website. Uh, we've been taking those and compiling them down into the topics and the specific questions that we're going to be asking tonight. So. There are. Uh, it's a non-participatory forum in the sense that the audience will be there to listen. They can engage before, during the reception, or afterwards. But it will be pre uh, pre uh, pre written questions uh, that were taken from the community. Let me let me ask you that. That's intriguing, Chris. You you probably took hundreds of questions and you had to hone them down. If you had to list the top three or top five categories that people asked about, what what would you list at, at number one, two, three? I guess. Sure. Well, I think that uh, a lot of people can probably guess them themselves. I mean, you know, crime, uh, economy, uh, those are, the you know, the large categories that people were putting in. But also uh, people ask questions about infrastructure um, and, you know, the ability for our city to be beautified, whether it's picking up trash or coming up with uh, solutions for parks and other amenities. So it's going to span quite a quite a, uh, a range, but you know these are questions that people have been asking for decades In your... of our leadership. So I think the question that is on everybody's mind, certainly mine, is what's going to be different about this year, and In... is there anything different this year? And I'm really excited to see what's going to come from that. In your format for tonight, will there be the possibility of interaction for candidates to question each other, for them to respond to each other's statements, et cetera? Right. So in this format, uh, the way that it's written is that, no, the the candidates will be answering the questions themselves. They'll have two minutes to answer each question in rotating order. Uh, They can respond to each other, but only if they're coming next in the rotating order. So there won't be a time for direct response unless the candidate wants to give up some of their time uh, from their turn to uh, to respond. You you know, Chris, you're you're not a a young pup. You know that in these election things they they steer away from what was asked. they answer that real quick and then they steer back to what they want to talk about are you guys going to be real tight on stick to the issues stay i mean how, how tight are you going to try to control it i know it's difficult huh sure it's i mean you know what you're dealing with people that have a, a message or a drive and a passion for what they're running on and our goal is to try to put people on the right track but ultimately i think that the way that we've had these discussions with the candidates over the last few weeks, it's been one that drives home that point of we really want to make sure that the, the questions asked are answered and that we're able to cover as many topics as possible. So I think it comes down to mutual respect for, um, you know, for the, the forum and for the, the audience and the community. We've heard from a lot of political analysts who have said that you're going to see, whether it's directly or indirectly or nicely or meanly, a lot of people are going to go after Mayor Tyler. She's the incumbent. They're going to have to attack her. And it was, we were, last week, I think we were told, whoever does that the best will probably get in the runoff. Do you agree, and do you expect to hear a lot of that tonight? Um, I I don't agree, actually. Uh, I I think that what we're going to find is that the people who have um, fresh and new ideas, um, and not just ideas, but plans to back those ideas up, I think is key. Um, and I hope that we don't see uh, necessarily attacking of any candidates uh, tonight. I hope what we see is honest uh, conversation 
and discussion. And that's that's what we're really aiming for, and that's what we expect of the people that are participating in the forum tonight. Chris Lyon, I can't thank you enough for your time. Again, tell us where where it's located, the time, and, and how people can get involved. Right. So, again, 530 reception at uh, Agora Borealis. Um, seating is limited, so we encourage you to uh, to come down early if you want to give it a try to get in. Uh, but if not, we have uh, we are streaming it on the Heliopolis Facebook page. Heliopolis is H E L I O P O L I S. You search for us on Facebook, and we'll have a live stream going there tonight, starting at 6 p.m.